Okay, good day everyone. Today I want to share one thing. The IVMS 4200 doing in the startup. Okay, have many people told me that IVMS 4200 no longer have to automatically start up in their configuration. But anything, I don't mind. If using other people's software also doesn't matter. I also can show you the way. But now, I want to show you how we running this IVMS 4200 automatically when the PC is a new put, new put up. Oh, just restart computer you want to when, uh, when starting up they running this software automatically so first of all I have to run the process now I show you how how it's going to do okay so I turn off this thing it's seven minutes so than 200 okay you can use the uh, the shortcut over here otherwise you can use the shortcut over here this is a swing bar so up to you you click right click open file location Okay, this is a shortcut. We use this shortcut it better. <coughs> okay, we right click. Then do you see they have uh, properties over here? You get the properties. This is a target. This target is very important. You copy it. You can post it on somewhere else. Or you just leave it over here. Okay, then after that, you go into the task. Okay, this task schedule is a built-in on the computer, uh, PC window by himself. You can use it wisely. Okay, you go into the task scheduler. Okay, this task schedule, you will see this uh, create task over here, right? Because this is a task to run on it. So you click create task. Okay, this is a name up to you. You want to put run IVMS 4200 startup. This is just a name. Okay. Okay, after that, the, you make sure run with the higher privilege because maybe they have uh, other of your software are running startup as well. So me and Ryan run is with highest privilege because this usually you need it on the highest privilege. Okay, we're going to a trigger. Okay, when it's going to trigger, you click new. Okay, this begin the task. Okay, of course at the startup, you need on the startup. I, for my opinion, for my suggestion, you delete the task for 10, for around 30 seconds. Because maybe there's something you running on it, so you need. Okay, click OK. Okay, after the action, because this is the trigger and this is the action. Okay, you go to a new. Okay, the program script, where I can get it. Okay, so you can get it over. Oh, what is now the IBMS was on to our shortcut? Properties over here. Okay. You can control A this part because this is a target part. You can copy. Okay, you place here. Okay, then here you put this S. That's all I need. Then click OK. Then done your job. You click OK. So now the system will be start automatically. So now I want to show you the improper shutdown. I'm holding this. That means I'm killing him. Okay, now the PC are restarting. Okay, the PC is totally off. So I now turn it on again. Okay, this is my laptop, it's Acer. So it's running. Okay, so now we count this system already is doing start up. So I already delayed for 30 seconds. So within this 30 seconds, the IBMS 4200 will be running. Uh, so the window are going to run it at, at now around the IBMS 4200. So the system will run automatically.
So now the main view are running. So right, there you are. This is uh, running automatically. This is the uh, how we operate the start uh, automatically start. Okay, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel.